Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will speak in, we will be speaking about uh, the visa requirements and how to apply for visa for the Democratic Republic of Congo. And don't mistake it with the Republic of Congo because both of them are completely different countries. We are focusing mainly in uh, on the Democratic Republic of Congo and we will be explaining everything the visa policy of the Democratic Republic of uh, Congo and the visa process how to apply and the all required documents but before we start don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours if we will look together at the visa policy uh, of the uh, democratic republic of congo we will find that only few countries can get a visa free access or visa on uh, arrival so the visa exemption for uh, the republic of congo prondi rwanda zimbabwe and the visa uh, on arrival for kenya mauritius and Tanzania for the rest of the world you have to obtain from the diplomatic mission uh, or the embassy in your country the first thing you need is to fill uh, the application form this application form is from uh, the Indian uh, the Republic of Congo embassy uh, in India but uh, it can be used for uh, uh, for applying from any country in the world especially it is very difficult to find a copy of uh, the visa application form uh, online if you are from pakistan it will be difficult to find the application form so it's better to use this form or any other form you can find uh, online if we can check it together this is a visa application form uh, that's where you put your photo they are giving you some guidelines of that you need a valid passport for six months and uh, three uh, passport photos also they are the visa application form is translated in both french and english here you write your personal informations all your personal informations and after that you will uh, give um, informations about your uh, vaccination you will give informations about your passport uh, have you ever traveled to congo uh, or not and all your travel uh, history and after filling it you will have to write of course the date and you have uh, to uh, sign uh, also this is okay here you can uh, sign you can you can write the date and you can sign here and this part for the consular part you don't have to write anything in this part so I will keep uh, I will give you a link of this application form and some other application uh, forms for different countries you can google it online it's very easy to find if we look together at uh, the embassy site so the required documents is your valid passport three colored uh, photographs three passport copy with the relevant badges and submit three copies of the visa application uh, form and you need also an international uh, certificate uh, of vaccination of yellow fever this is a very important uh, certificate yellow fever vaccination especially when you travel not only to Congo but any country in West uh, Africa and uh, you have to prove availability of sufficient funds with at least 5,000 USD for the first uh, six months during your uh, stay so if you want to submit your application you have to go to the embassy this is the address of the embassy of the Congo in New Delhi if you are, are applying from uh, okay from Egypt for example this is uh, the location of the embassy in Egypt speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa badges for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored 
must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated. Number three, you will need personal pictures. For the personal picture, you will need two pictures, not older than six months, clear, shows full face, with white background, and shows neutral expressions, no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons. Number four, you will need visa application forms. For the visa application form, it could be an online form, filled online, printed, then signed. It could be also a PDF form, filled on computer, printed, then signed. And also, it could be a hand-filled form, printed, then filled, then signed. Its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video. Number five, you will need a proof of status. For the proof of status, it varies. If you are an employee or work in a company, you will need a letter from an employer or HR office or your sponsor stating designation, the date of employment, the salary, the period of stay, purpose of visit, and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned. The letter must have an original signature and a stamp. But if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company, you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.